Hello, A.O. Xander here, and I am going to be reviewing the Buildable Executor Class Star Dreadnought. Thanks to, um, this was created by Zeratul Virgil. Uh, the link is in the description below. And uh, let's, let's have a look at this guy here. This guy is uh, the Executor Class Super Star Destroyer. It is the uh, giant Star Destroyer that we see. Pardon the lag, I am mildly in late game. Um, and I have a crap computer. Uh, it is a Super Star Destroyer you see in Star Wars Episode Five. Uh, at, um, uh, crap, uh, The Empire Strikes Back, and uh, this add-on um, makes uh, makes this possible. Uh, I th I'm not sure. I don't think this is reliant. No, it's not reliant on any other add-ons. So you don't have to have the Galaxy Divided or Empire Sounds or any of that. But if you want the TIE Fighters and all that stuff, you know, to make it authentic instead of having this thing launch like Amoeba fl Flagella or whatever, uh, then I recommend getting that. But anyway, um, what this is, uh, I mean, what, let's see here. Uh, where is it? Let me find my home. Says I also have Starter Ring World started on a 12-segment uh, Ring World. But uh, let's see here. This, uh, it took... Um, Crap, how long did it take? Eight years to research? I'm not sure. So, so it took a while to research. But, uh, yeah, it costs about 10,000... No, that's not it. It costs uh, uh, about almost 14,000 minerals. 244 days to build. Um, it, uh, its maintenance is 50... Or like almost 58 energy and um, minerals just to have this floating around. But uh, without further ado... Uh, Let's look at the modules on this Mamma Jamma here. And um, as you can see, there's more modules than we can actually see on the screen. But um, yeah, it has... You can't interchange these. They're all this. So what you get is what you see is what you get. But, uh, you know, what you see and what you get is like, you know, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12... <coughs> pardon me, hangar bays. And a whole lot of these things... And then uh, three uh, X weapons, the purple weapons, the huge weapons, and uh, this this thing by itself, by itself, uh, that's the wrong button, right here, the fifth fleet by itself is one hundred ten thousand fleet power. So this is uh, a um, uh, uh, what, what frick? What's it called? The unbidden. This is an unbidden destroyer. Um, this will probably handle the unbidden just fine by itself, but I do plan on um, eventually enabling this Dyson Sphere, and then I'm going to be back in the positive with this, and I'm going to have not one, not two, but three of these Executor Class Superstar Destroyers. And I'm going to merge them all into uh, my three fleets here. Uh, first fleet, second fleet, third. Pardon the fleet mix up. I, I actually have plans because uh, I got what I did was integrated a bunch of. <coughs> pardon me. Integrated a bunch of uh, uh, smaller empires into myself, and then I got all their military ships. And I'm docking them all over here. And when I'm done integrating everything, I'm going to send them all to die against the dimensional horror to die in glorious battle. And then the executor will come in and squish him. Uh, so that way I'll have a clean fleet. But anyway, uh, right now my first fleet, well, my, my, my three main fleets, first fleet, second fleet, and third fleet, they all consist of like things from other add-ons. Uh, a super dreadnought, two dreadnoughts, two uh, carriers, five battleships, ten cruisers, fifteen destroyers, and twenty corvettes. I plan on making three more of these types of fleets, merging all six into three, and having them each led by an executor. Uh, so that way they'll each be like uh, 160 some odd K, and I'll have three of those. So yeah, but anyway, enough of my rambling. I just thought it'd be cool to see this the uh, this uh, executor class in front of a ruined Dyson sphere. So anyway, that's that's enough of my rambling for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.